Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One. We take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Paint Bucket tool. So I'm going to say that the Paint Bucket tool is like the second favorite tool of the new SketchUp user. Push Pull is probably the first because it's just so cool. After that, adding colors to your model, I, I'm, it's just awesome. It's cool. You click, colors show up. Awesome simple but there's a lot more to it than just that so that's what i want to get into is talk about the different ways you can use the paint bucket tool different modifiers there we got quite a bit to cover let's hop in all right so first thing you notice is i'm in the paint bucket tool right now there's a couple of options in the flyout menu here the first one is the current material so that is what is going to be applied right now there's a couple ways to edit that one is the button below which is the eyedropper tool so I'm gonna go ahead and pan over here. I'm gonna turn on the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna pick on Sal's pants. When I do that, you can see the little button turns to this gray blue color and it returns me to regular paint mode because the, the eyedropper got turned off. It's hard to talk about this paint bucket tool without mentioning the, color, the materials panel over here. So I'm not gonna get into the material panels or how it works in this video. We're gonna have a whole nother video talking about everything that happens inside this panel, this panel over here. Um, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna work using the colors that are over here on Sal, and we're just gonna use that in this video. But know that to edit this little material right here, you can use this materials button, or this materials panel, and choose or create your own materials to apply. All right, for now though, like I said, we're gonna use, you're gonna use, we're gonna use these colors. So I'm gonna zoom back over here, these four squares. Now to apply, pretty simple. We do have three modifiers here. We're gonna talk about these modifiers in just a second. Before that, let's just talk about the basics. If I'm in, if I'm using my pencil, regardless of mode, whether it's just draw or click, move, click, all I do to color a material is tap on it. And these are all just bare faces. If I tapped on something like a group, something totally different would happen. Uh, that again might be its own video. In this case, we're talking about just geometry. So I'm either coloring geometry that is out of groups, or I've double clicked and entered a group or component and I'm, I'm coloring the faces that are inside. That's, that's what these examples all show. So if I wanted to color with touch, if I wanted to apply a material with the paint bucket, all I have to do in that case is tap. Pretty simple. And then finally, of course, bring the mouse over here. Guess what? You probably never guess this, but to apply, all we're going to do is click. Pretty simple, right? It is. I mean, this, this, like I said, people like this because it is so simple. It's fun. Um, so I have a couple other examples over here, some connected materials. Uh, all these are showing 2D examples. This process that we're talking about will be the same with connected geometry on a 3D surface as well. Same thing. So normally if I come in here and I tap in one of these squares, it's just going to apply that material to that face. So the other faces that are connected to it don't automatically get colored in. But I do have some options here. So over here, I have a modifier which says object faces, connected faces, or all faces. So what this does, this lets me do things. So if I say something like connected faces, if I tap right here, it's going to color all those in. If I tap this one right here, just colors this, even though connected faces is turned on because this face is not connected to any other faces with the same material. However, if I turn on object faces and I tap this one, they all change because they're part of the same connected geometry. So any material inside that is gonna get colored with that same material, as long as that geometry is connected and has the exact same material on it. So same thing over here. In this case, either one would work. Because they're all connected, if I tap connected faces, they all get, connect, all get colored. I'm gonna undo that. And if I click object faces, again, same thing. I'm gonna undo a couple times. I'm gonna do a, a lot of times, because watch this, this is the cool one. This is the dangerous one. This is, is a double-edged sword. It is, it is a do it all at once slash wrecking ball. If I click all faces, whatever material I touch gets re place throughout my whole model, everything in context that's material gets the new material applied to it. So that gray blue color replaced the white color, every face in my model here. So they all got it. And that is all connected, all faces. I'm sorry, that is all faces. 
And that is the basics of how to use Paint Bucket. Hopefully you like that. Like I said, Paint Bucket is, is just, it's, it's fun. Right out of the box, you just start clicking stuff, colors show up, it's great. Keep an eye out for that other video where we talk about the material panel. That's gonna be a great one. Uh, there's a lot you can do in there, but it goes beyond just using Paint Bucket. There's actually some material organization and importing from other places, that kind of stuff. We'll talk about that in its own video. That's plenty. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, more than anything else though, please leave us a comment. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.